the number one off-road adventure park in the United States of America. I'll go as far as to say globally. I've never heard of anything like this before. Over 6,800 acres, 16 motocross tracks, 150 miles of trails. They've got flat track. They've got drag race tracks. They've got ATV tracks, a little bit of everything. And this truly is a global destination. This is their pro shop here. It was the number one in sales in brick and mortar for helmets, jackets, goggles, gloves. Why? Because they have 1,200 guys that will show up here on a weekend. Um, I'm here with uh, my better half, Christy, Hi. and the uh, founder, Mike. How you doing? And his son. How are you? Beautiful day here in Durham Town. And um, I've heard people come from all over the planet to see this place. Is that true? Gosh, yeah, they come all over the world. All over the world. We got a map right here that shows. Let's check it out. That's some people. This is United States map here. And uh, that's probably, if, in reality, it probably just about cover everything on that map. Yeah, there's pins everywhere. Because people are pulling the pins out and relocating them now. And this is a world map we had, we put up just in about three years. It, they were covering everything on this map. I mean, they come from islands all out in the middle of the ocean. Yeah, people come from China. They don't even speak English, oh, right? right? A lot of people Asia, don't speak English. China. Too. Russia. We used to get a lot of Russians. A um, lot of uh, South Africa. I was amazed how many Africans from all parts of Africa come here. Um, I didn't realize how many... Uh, islands are scattered out in these oceans that people will come in and they'll say yeah that's, i live on an island right out here and it's, it's it's just amazing to give you a perspective of the volume of people so not so much volume but the diversity of people this property has been in your family for almost 250 years before the united states was the united states yeah. your great 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 grandpappy fought besides george washington george, george, george. in the revolutionary war and it is it's just Words can't really describe it. It's an amazing facility, and it's become a global destination for off-road riders. And I mentioned the history because this cannot be created in one generation. Uh, uh, 30,000 30, acres. acres of land, 6,800 of it carved into the nicest tracks and trails you've ever seen. The park, this is truly a generational effort here uh, of many men and women. 35 to 70 people work here regularly. You've got the, the number one brick and mortar sales for helmets, goggles, and gloves uh, on the East Coast because 1,200 guys will come here riding the weekend and end up needing stuff. It's just oh, an incredible facility. They, it's, it's uh, you know, in a specialty sport like this, you just can't go to everywhere and buy the necessities or the accessories. So it's kind of like a ski resort. When you're here, you got the fever. You want something to take home with you. And the, I found out one of the unique things was if you're wearing your jersey and you're off in, let's say, on a ride in Colorado or somewhere like that, and you say, yeah, then, where'd you get that jersey? Well, I got it at Durham Pound down in Georgia. I mean, it means something to wear. You, you know, it break, keeps the memory alive of when you were there by continuing to wear something from there. It's like a T-shirt from the beach mm -hmm. or, uh, you know, an event, a concert. It's just the same thing. And, uh, Which you have many of those here too, events, concerts, oh, we've had weddings. Festivals, weddings. I won't say funerals, but you have 50 people who so, thought so highly of this place, they spread their ashes, spread here, ashes here over uh, the years. Yeah, it's, uh, Mike, if someone comes from China and they don't have a motorcycle and a helmet, you have the solution for that, right? Oh, yeah. We got everything you can rent from the 50cc kid. Let's, to go, show, the, let's go show the guys. To up to a 1,000cc uh, side by side. So you can fly in to Atlanta. You're only about an hour and a half. Get an Uber right to the door here, and you can supply them lodging inside here, the pro shop, just like a ski resort. They can rent all the riding gear. You have um, uh, lodging here. You've got uh, uh, houses they can rent, it's beautiful, like have big houses, or right down to a little trailer and everything yeah, in between. We try to repair your bike if it breaks down. We got tires. We got sprockets, chains, everything you can imagine in there. And we got some of the best MacGyvers you can imagine out here because when you get here and you break down, there's no way to carry all the parts, but you try to get them up and running. We used to have about 200 units in our junk yard, and we'd always rob parts off of them. 
mix and match and try to keep people running no matter what. But if they can't get it, we can always rent them. So, so they can rent one if they don't have one. If they break theirs, they, they need something for a little Johnny. You need a 50 or a 110 or a 250 or a 450. You've got them covered. If they're into ATVs, yeah. 50s to 500s, you've got it all. They want side-by-sides, everything from mini ones to 1,000cc razors and everything in between. That, that's, just, that's just in case you're flying in and you want to experience this place for a couple days, you want to put your toe in the water, you don't have to drag your whole kit here. You can rent it. And or if you come and you blow yours up, your, your weekend, if you drove 12 hours like we did from Connecticut to get here, you're not going to you're not gonna um, have to go home. Your, your adventure can continue. But one of the things we found is uh, if you're wanting to get your child into this without having to go and spend a volume, the amount of money it takes today to buy I mean, a 50cc, you're talking about $2,500 now. Easy. Compared to back in the day, you used to buy them for $600. Yep. And if they didn't take to it, you didn't have a problem getting rid of it. You weren't deeply invested. But nowadays, you're not going to get in anything now for less than five, six, seven thousand dollars $7,000. Yep. And uh, so you give them a chance to experiment to see if they even want to do this or not. Mm. And secondly, if you want to move up in bikes, you can test the different size bikes to determine which model best suits you. Rather than buying the wrong one. Not and and that, uh, you know, not everybody likes their bikes. Some people like ATVs. So we see a lot of people that start out in the morning on a dirt bike, and then in the afternoon they'll be on an ATV. And then the child can express where his interest is. Cause yeah. if he's intimidated, you don't want to make him spend the whole day doing something he doesn't like and he's afraid of. Exactly. And then of course, the families with the side side you know, a side-by-side -side investment in that day is $30,000. Christy and I spent eight hours on that Polaris driving around the park yeah. yesterday and yeah. really scratched the surface you of what's here. You can determine if you want to ride a utility version, which is like a Ranger, or if you want to ride the sport one like a Razor. Uh, it lets you sample and, and you know, decide if, if this is what I really want to do or not. And uh, it just gives them the opportunity. And then if you bring in a friend that doesn't have one, you can always you know, share your experience with your friends and all. Mike, if someone wants to make reservations or to find out uh, you're open every day of the year except for Christmas, right? So Christmas. you don't have to call to see if they're open. They're open, uh, and they can ride from 9 to 5 every day, and they don't get snow here. But if they want to go on it, what's the website? What's the best way to get a hold of you guys to find out what's going on? Pretty much just type in Durham Town, and there's just about in any, any direction, it'll show up. You'll get it leads. Everything will lead right into our website, just with the word Durham Town in Georgia. And it's, it's been here for over 20 years with a global presence, and... Uh, uh, people from all over the planet coming here. See one of our sponsors over there on the well can, Motul. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we used to Little shout out to our sponsor, Motul. Motul. We used to <laughs> a lot of business with them. Yeah. Sure did. So, uh, Mike. All our drums from them. Mike, we got to see the pro shop here. So, let's take a look at this. So, this is something that really exceeded probably even your expectations for what could have oh, happened. God. We started out on the pool table selling spark plugs and goggles and now it's expanded into uh, race fuel uh, our number one seller is probably gloves and goggles um, of course t-shirts come unprepared you know long sleeve short sleeve whatever you need according to the weather conditions um, we're number one uh, goggle dealer. I know east of Mississippi, but maybe one of the top three or four in the nation on 100% goggles. They've been a great support of Durham Town over the years since they've been recreated. I heard you just ordered a thousand of them yesterday. Yeah, just, you just got a thousand of them. <laughs> That's like a, what, a few, uh, month supply, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it, it goes on a good a On a good month. Yeah, they go through them. And toys, we've had a lot of success in selling the toys. Yeah, a lot of We're kids. Probably one of the biggest dealers. In the toy business. Uh, a little toy gas gas, I'll have to bring one home for Junior. Every one of these, <laughs> these kids got to take one home. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to WPS for Fly. They've been a huge uh, supporter of Durham Town over the years. Uh, we just brought in Fast House. We just started that line about uh, two months ago, I think. A month and a half, two months ago, we started. That's new and up and coming brand that uh, is becoming very popular. We have uh, a lot of ladies. We, we've, we've learned over the years that uh, the women and the children are a large part of our business. 
and and your future. And, yeah, and it's the future of our business. And so we started uh, getting more involved with the ladies' gear and the kids' gear. That's a big thing for us now. And one of the things we've learned is uh, beautiful stuff. Yeah. Really nice. If you get if you can get the mom in. Uh, on the facility, the first thing she's going to make sure is everybody in the family is very well protected. So we keep a good stock of all the uh, chest protectors, knee pads, neck braces, and second, most importantly, would be our helmets. Uh, we're, we're probably running at about a 50% inventory of what we were. Everything I've seen here is Primo Top Shelf 2023's yeah, latest, greatest oh, stuff. Yeah. Everything's fresh. Everything's really good here. because it gets, sells quickly here. Yeah, yeah, it you don't get to be number one without a product moving yeah. out the door and everybody. Uh, is you know we've gone through some really trying times in the last two years on supply chains. Sure, with I mean, the COVID anybody restrictions. Anybody in the industry knows they've had, we've had massive supply chains, so you you just got anything you could get from anybody there for two years. Now. Uh, inventories are coming back where we can get back to our basics the way we used to be. Beautiful helmets. And, and be more diverse. Uh, nine months ago, we'd be lucky to have three different styles in the whole building. We might have 15 helmets in the building. So we're just now getting that to come back around. Uh, Pops has always been good to us as well. They've been a good seller for us over the years. I love the sayings that Fast House puts, speed style, good times. They've got like the really coolest sayings on their stuff. Long live the fast life. I mean, it makes you want to put, I'm like super picky when it comes yeah. to, to, to all my t-shirts say Kaplan Cycles on them. <laughs> and they're all black, but I'd wear this stuff. And, and, and very rarely will I wear anything else than the stuff that Christy designs. And, and I love this Fast House stuff. The Troy Lee design stuff is off the hook. Yeah, the Fox Charlie, stuff. I mean, I'd wear most of what a, a lot of the stuff in here. And I am picky. Megan, uh, Pro Shop Manager. You're doing a great job, Megan. Thanks. Fantastic. The, uh, the Troy Lee was basically unheard of on the East Coast. And, uh, friend of mine became a rep for them and uh, he asked if I would bring a couple sets in just to try it and uh, so we did and boy it really did well we, we become one of the largest dealers on the east coast you know I go into a, some of the shops I don't mention any names but they've got a lot of their in-house brand stuff that's that's um, just not very desirable you know yeah. and, and no name stuff we're seeing Fast House, Fox, Troy Lee Designs yeah. all tier one fly primo stuff there's no there's no junk in here it's all yeah, it's all the stuff it's all the stuff people yeah. want to buy you know yes. and after 20 years of doing this and being the number one brick and mortar store you figure it out you're putting stuff on the shelf that people are going to buy not stuff that's going to you're going to give away next year or throw that's out right, right? That's right. We try to manage this is a cool uh, this is a shirt i'd wear this honda hrc red white and blue big fan of the red white and blues and the blacks the fast house stuff the colors like this red and black here this is our race team color black and red and the fly racing Look at that. I mean, just beautiful stuff. I'm really glad you mentioned we needed to come in here because I hadn't really taken a close look at what's really in here. And, man, I can't think of another gear shop on the East Coast I've been to that's got this selection yeah. of, of primo stuff. Yeah. Stuff stuff that yeah, stuff that I would actually – we go into Harley shops, Christy and I, oh my gosh. all up and down the East Coast. One of the things we do, we fit video in there. We walk in looking to spend money, and trust me, I could spend thousands in here seeing what I see, and we'll walk out, and we have the money to spend. We want to spend the money. We want new, fresh, and, yeah. and we walk out disappointed. There's nothing we want to buy, yeah. Yeah. and that's right. that's that's disturbing in, in a lot of bike shops, too. Yeah. Here, what, you, what did we buy? The last one we went to, we were at Bike Week at, at the, the biggest largest Harley shop. facility. I've been there. Destination <laughs> Daytona. We walked out with a keychain. Yeah. <laughs> and a little depressed <laughs> that no one was, that was thoughtful it. enough that to put something it. in there that we'd really want to buy. But like I said, I mean, uh, th there's a lot of shirts in here I would buy. Um, the Troy Lee design stuff. The, each each manufacturer, this Fly Racing black and red, That's uh, that would come home with me. Uh, most of the the black and red Fast House speed style, good times. Well, you know, it's, everybody has different flavors of desire. Yeah, so that's the like, like I wouldn't, gotta, I wouldn't wear the, diversified. I wouldn't wear the neon green or the rainbow, but there's somebody right. else out there will. And oh you, yeah, and you got some, you got something for everybody. I mean, Megan and I have different opinions on what she thinks should be here and what I think should be here, but it takes the diversity of all of it. Like this is a kick-ass. This yeah. is a kick-ass shirt. Simple. You know, the, it, one of the biggest things and. and 
we, we keep going back to this was when we first brought in Troy Lee Design, the very first model we brought in that year was pink pokey dots. You remember that, Megan? <laughs> pink pokey dots. Big old dots about that big. <laughs> Ugliest gear you could ever imagine. And it sold like crazy to the guys. Who knows what the kids and guys want next year? <laughs> I wouldn't be caught dead in pink polka no. dot, but I'm old school. <laughs> crazy. And, uh, I like Alpine this mixing Star. gas hauling ass. That's cool. Alpine Star, I think that'll be. Alpine Star, Alpine Star top shelf. That's another tier one. And then we go into our hardware section uh, with tubes and all the fluids and everything. No Chinese junk here. You got Pro Taper, got, Renthal, yeah. uh, all the good all stuff. All that from Rocky. Uh, they've been a big, large supporter for us over the years. Uh, they support grips. our Grips. No, biggest thing to Belts for you. is grips. I mean, uh, levers. Yeah, how many Everybody times somebody's going to fall and break a lever, right? Shifters, levers. shifters, levers. Be surprised how many shifters just fall off the bikes when you're out here riding. So, you have a race series here too, and they need numbers, so you can oh, ride yeah, the numbers. Yeah, they definitely. If you want to come home with a trophy, uh, you got to come practice first. Brake, oil filters. And you will wear out your brakes here, unlike most yeah. tracks where you ride for 20 minutes yeah. and you go home. You're gonna ride for days here. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna wear everything out. We had a very low inventory on our boots. All solid, using about four times that much in the back. In this top shelf, Alpine Stars, no yeah, junk here. Yeah, look, look at this. This is, this is this is I would be that's uh, my name on it because I'm, I'm all in the red, white, and blue. Do you have that in a 12? <laughs> uh, if you do, it might be coming home with me. We got a bunch of stuff on the order. That's right a now. beautiful boot. Look at that thing. Wow, kids, boots, I see a th big thing. Is that it right there? Techno, it's black. Yeah, uh, have to look and see. here it is, blue, white, red, 12. Yeah. I might be taking one of them home with me. That's a beauty. And this, oh, the black ones are nice. There's so many colors, man. It used to be just black and white. Yeah, back now in the it's... Now there's so many colors, it's almost impossible to carry it all. You know, with uh, Fox, they got so many colors. Alpine's got so many colors. Oh, the um, color combinations are endless Back when... Uh, but, yeah, this is totally... This reminds me of back in the day when my girlfriend, my wife, her third ex-wife, she would take a set of the white boots or the black boots and she would take markers and paint the pink onto it and highlight things on them. And that's kind of, we worked with them and helped bring in the pink you, you, to the ladies. Yeah, you were the trendsetters that and started she, it. Another thing was, the biggest problem back then too, the only choice women had was buying a men's boot. What you didn't realize, the height from here to here is so different on a woman's leg to a man's leg. Yep. And it was so uncomfortable for women. And she convinced them to shorten the boot down. And that's, today, that's a, a, a standard feature on the boots. I see you sell right. Oakley glasses, in, uh, which oh, is top we, shelf we, stuff. We used to be their number one goggle dealer in the country. Wow. A little bit of, every, little bit of something for everybody here. Speed Free My Soul. That's another Fast House. Whoever does the design of the Fast House stuff is on point. Yeah. Look at this. FHMC Speed Style Good Times. I mean, it's cool stuff, man. Yeah. You got your own line of Durham Town clothing. If someone wants to wear a yeah. shirt from yeah. from here, Off Road Adventures at Durham Town. Nice sweatshirts. Uh, oh, this used to be our number one shirt, but the new generation doesn't understand it anymore. <laughs> I get it. You're the man just playing Ride Faster Deliverance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that was like that's, uh, that's awesome. But you that, know, these that, young kids today, they don't have a clue about that, 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 that means that, anymore. That, that's something I would wear. We're that, dying that's out. pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. If you hear those banjos playing ride faster, yep. They're not even there, 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 now. We were talking about that yesterday, actually. We were. <laughs> Here's the pink clothes. We're always looking for some catchy phrase or something to put on a shirt. Hell, the, the thing, one of the things I learned about uh, Pineapple Louie we were talking about. And something I ain't low, is you got to be constantly changing the style of your shirt because mm -hmm. people get bored yeah seeing the same style once they bought it they're not gonna buy another one exactly and until you get a new style then they get excited oh i haven't bought this one yet and i don't want to continue the sales yep, same with the hats the same thing that was a big issue with us yeah, we, 
we were waiting on a big shipment. We just ordered a thousand set of gloves from uh, Hunter. Let's see, I think 100% gloves. Yeah, we just bought a set, uh, waiting on an order from them too. So the sales guys there love you. <laughs> oh, they do. They always call me when they want to get the sales up for the month. I'm the first person they call. Amen. How about tires? Uh, yeah, they, they're huge. We used to, uh, we would order them a thousand at a time off-road tires and uh, we were the number one go-to spot to buy tires your, your GNCC guys all would come through here and we our prices were so low below everybody else's prices that uh, everybody would buy two and three to take home with them well you're not buying ten tires like all the smaller shops you're buying oh, how no, many we buy, we buy hundreds or a thousand at a time when you buy a thousand tires they can sharpen their pencil can't they oh gosh yeah <laughs> Pirelli, we bought a thousand tires from Pirelli and uh we had, oh God, we, we were way, we were 50% off everybody else. Just like these little tires now, we sell them for $25 a piece. Because you've got. You can't you, even buy the tires for $25 a piece. Now. No, not as a dealer. No. You know, you got the fuel, you got the goggles, you got, you got the, all the gear and the accessories and clothing these people want to wear. Us, we sell us gas, dirt bikers want to wear. You know, regular uh, non ethanol, 90 octane off road fuel. You know, we, we sell that, you know, at the pump up here. More affordably? Oh, gosh, yeah. So yeah. you you can't even get non-ethanol fuel in Connecticut. It's, hard. From. it's hard to find it. Yeah. It's hard to find anybody that has it. So where's, where's your pump? It's just right there on the other side of the rental shop. I wonder if I can pull my, my 80-foot rig up to there. If I can, I'm going to fill her up. What about propane? You sell propane here too, right? We did until the government got involved and they made a stop. We've heard that before. <laughs> yeah, they, <laughs> they screwed up a few things. They did. Sorry, government Wanted employees watching this, but... <laughs> $2 million insurance policy and we're going to have to build cement walls around it. And I mean, it was just got out of, it was no way we would ever get a payback on it. So we had to quit. Understood. Well, no matter where you are, you're probably anywhere in the world watching these videos, but uh, we'd love to have you to come down and visit with us and uh, see what we got here, visit our family farm. And uh, we're going to treat you just like if I came to your house, I expect you to treat me. As you can see, people from all over the world have been here, and they continue to come here every weekend. And uh, we look forward to having you. Yeah, we got treated like family here from the minute we got here. All the employees had no idea we were here filming. They were all super friendly. Uh, and I've heard that from everybody who's been here. So definitely uh, put this place. I always like to say, you know, this isn't a dress rehearsal. No, nope, we're not going to live forever. <laughs> so, uh, you know, make this a bucket list destination and uh get down here and do some right thank you for for your hospitality mike we've had a wonderful awesome. adventure here awesome. unfortunately we got to head north and back to the shop yeah. which isn't such a bad thing but junior wants me to come back to work yes i'm yes. sure junior is waiting for you <laughs> thanks for watching everybody and god bless united states of america hey,